Hello all of you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about data analyst SQL interview questions. So if you are attending any of the data analyst interview, so in that interview, some questions might be asking or there might be a conditions or they, they will ask you to write queries. So let's see what are the queries which might ask in the data analyst interview for freshers. So you can see this is the first question. So uh, the question is list all the matches between team if matches are played once. So uh, see the input. So the input they have provided is team. So the data type has been provided that is varchar or character. So the, these are the teams India, Pakistan, Australia and England. So we want a desired output which has been shown in this table. So what is the desired output? They have asked us to list all the matches between teams if matches are played once. So Australia, now you can see the Australia is playing with England, Australia play with, playing with India, Australia playing with Pakistan. Likewise, now again England versus India, England versus Pakistan and India versus Pakistan. So this is our desired output. So let's see how it works. So let me take you through the Oracle developer application. So this is the application. So as per the conditions, they so they will provide you the table. So this is the table. From this table, you have to prepare your table in this application. So in Oracle application, you have to prepare the table. You have to create the table. So let's create a table. So I had written a query like create table. Name of the table is match and column name team and its data type is varchar and size is 50. So if I fire this query, the table will be created. <coughs> then so the I will show you the original table. So this is the table and column name is team. So that's why I have added column name as team. Now after firing this, the table will be created. Let us fire the query. So if I fire the query, yes, okay. The table is already exists. So let me drop the table first. So drop. Drop table match. Already I had created the table, so that's why it is not allowing to allowing me to make the table. So yes, the table is drop. Now let's create a table. So create table. Table name is match and team. This is the column. So if I run this query, you will see the table will be created. Yes, now table is created. Now let us insert the value. So what are the values? So let me take you the original uh, table. So this is the original table. So input is India, Pakistan, Australia, and England. So let us insert the values. So insert into table name that is match values. So first value is India. Likewise, second value is Pak. Then third value is Australia and fourth value is England. So let us run these insert statements one by one. So I first insert statement run. Then the row is inserted. Second. Again, the row will be inserted. Yes. Third. You will see the message on the console. Yes. Then now the row is inserted. And last for England also. Yes, the row is inserted. Now let's view the data from this particular table. So if I select star from match, all the data which we have inserted is successfully inserted into the table. India, Pakistan, Australia and England. So this is our desired input. Now let's work on the output. So what is our output? So we have to list all the matches between the teams. So Australia will be playing with England. So all the, let's uh, work, see the input table. So in the input table, let's consider India. So India will be playing with Pakistan, Australia, England. So this is the output out. Now second Pakistan will be playing with all the rest of the three teams that is India, Australia and England. So likewise we have to generate the output. So you can see in this output, sample output has been given here. So total number of rows are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So in 6 rows all the matches can be possible. So let's work on the <coughs> this particular query. So what we are doing in the first case. So first we will create a city. So CT common table or we can say it is a temporary table. So CT I am creating. So with CTE as, so CTE name is CT as select. So in this case we will add row number for this particular table because you can see the output was there was only the team column. So there was no any row number. So we will generate a row number. So how to generate row number we have inbuilt function that is row underscore number. This is function over into bracket we have to write order by team so we have only team column so we will order the data by team as team number so this will generate the row number then comma and we have to write 
team means we are fetching the team so let let's run only this inner query so if i run only city okay so uh, from match so this table name is remaining so from match i am considering this also okay or if i run only the city then you will see that row number is generated unique row number will be generated for each row so this is a, this was our original table and if i use the this particular query the query which is written in, inside the city it will generate the unique row numbers so we are generating the row numbers now let's move further now what we are interested in we will use the self join now what is this self join let's see so next statement will be select star i want to fetch all this data into this next statement select star from CTE that is this particular city A this is alias name comma CTE B alias name where A dot team number so this A dot team number is not equal to B dot team team uh, B dot team number so this I am joining this particular table with this same table so self joining I am using self join concept in this particular case so to fetch the data I am using the self join. So where condition a dot team number is not equal to b dot team number means Australia will not play with Australia, England will not play with England. So this is the case I have specified. So let's run only this part and see what will be the output. So if I run this part, you will see the output. Yes. Now team number. See this is our original <coughs> uh, row number. Now after joining self join, you will see that Australia. Let me maximize the window. <clears throat> now Australia is playing with England, Australia is playing with India, Australia is playing with Pakistan. Now again England is playing with Australia, but already it has been played with Australia. See, see the first case, already it is playing with England and Australia. Now again this case is repeating. So this is the repetition or we can say duplication is generated. So again let's move further England, India, England, Pakistan. Likewise India again it is playing with Australia. Already it has been played with Australia. We can see here. India versus Australia. See here. India versus Australia has been played. Now again, India versus Australia, again it is showing here. So this should be removed. So these are the duplicate records. So again, we can remove this. Now observe carefully that consider this as a table number one and this as a table number two in self join. So this team number, this these are the row numbers. For this table number two, these are the row numbers. Now observe that the values which are repeated, you can see here Australia versus India. So this team number is 1 and India's uh, row number is 3. Likewise, if I move further, <coughs> India versus Australia, you can see in this case, now team uh, row number is 3 and row, uh, row number for this table is 1. So if we write, if you write, row number of this table is, le uh, it should, should be greater than, if I write condition, or we can say it is a less than, always less than, if I write any one of the condition, if I write, Suppose if I am writing this row number of this table is less than this row number, then this particular record will not come. See, I have written, I have written here. And a dot team number, so this a dot team number should be less than b dot team t number. Right? Means see here. Now Australia versus India is playing here, whose row numbers are one and three. Now this is allowed. Because I have specified here team number, a dot team number is less than b dot team number. Now, if same case is happening, means India versus Australia again the match is taking place, this should be avoided. So this can be avoided by using this condition. That is team A number is less than team B dot team number. So this is the smaller value. So this will not come in the output. So that's why I have specified this particular condition. So let's run this query. So if I run this query, so this is our query. So if you run this query, you will see the desired output that unique records will be fetched. So Australia is playing with England, Australia playing with India, Australia playing with Pakistan. Finish. Then England is playing only with India, England is playing with Pakistan. Already it has been played with the Australia. Now that record will not come. Now next last India is playing with Pakistan. And rest of the teams, India has been played with the rest of the teams. So that's why only one record has been fetched. So these are the unique records. This is how the output will come by using this query. Now let's see the question. So this was the question, but 
they have asked us to write only team number A and team number B. So let us remove the row numbers that is team numbers, these two team numbers we want to remove. So we can write simply, I have already written here in the comment section. So I am cutting this, I am writing instead of star, I am only using a dot, a dot team, b dot team. So we can write alias, so as team underscore a and b dot team as team underscore b. So team a and team, team b. So if I run this all the query together, you will see the desired output. So team a and team b. So Australia, all India. Australia, Pakistan, India, all the matches are taking place in this way. So I hope this question number one is pretty much clear. So let's move on to the next question. That is question number two. Now in question number two, they have asked us to write a query to get the output. So this is the input. So you can see in the input, the integer ID is given and name of the employee is given. So desired names like EMP1234 till 8 has been given and employee ID is also given. Now what is our desired output? So that is it. the desired output should be that 1 EMP1, comma 2 EMP2. So what this is doing is this ID and name is concatenated. You can see here 1 EMP1. So if you see in the input data, 1 ID1 and EMP1 that is name is concatenated that is combined. So 1 EMP1 and it is separated by the comma and second row is taking that is 2 EMP2. Likewise, 3 EMP3 comma separated 4 EMP4. So likewise, the grouping is done and groups, number of groups, the group numbers has been given here. So let's see how we can get the desired output. So let me take you through the Oracle application. Okay, so this is our application. So here we have finished the previous query. So let me uh, copy the question. Okay, so this is a, a second question. So write a query to get, to get the output. So first, what we need to do, we have to create this particular table. I hope you know the uh, table creation syntax. So already we discussed in the previous query. So I am directly creating this uh, table. So this is the syntax of creating the table. So int id, name, that is varchar. So likewise, I have inserted all the data. So like emp1, emp2, emp3, likewise, till emp8, I have inserted all the records. So let's view the table that is EMP99. So if I view the data, you will see this is the input, right? Now next, let's see what how to uh, get the desired output. Now again, in this case, we will be using the CTE concept, right? So with CTE, that is name of the city as into bracket, select. So what I want to select ID, comma, name, comma, now let's concatenate this ID and name together. So again to concatenate we have syntax like you can see ID I want to concatenate, concatenate this ID with name but in between I should have the space. So you can see the concatenation symbol <coughs> this is vertical concatenation symbol you can see the two symbols has been added here. Then in the single inverted commas I am applying the space. So to get space between two strings I am using the single inverted commas then again the same sign of concatenation and name of the next column so if I use this this one and emp1 will be combined together or concatenation of these two columns will be taken it will be taking place as combined so this is alias name you can write as here as combined this is alias name so the combined column will be generated then entile function. Now what this entile function will do? So this entile function will group the vertical columns into a group. So what I want, so you can see here, there are eight records. Eight records are present. So I want to group. So let's, let me take you through the question. So what is the question? We are interested, we are grouping all the eight records into the four records. That is we are grouping in each row, we are grouping two employees, right? So that's why I have used the entile function. So entile function will group the data together. So I am specifying the number as 4. As our total number of data is 8, if I use the 4, it will group all the data and it will fetch only 4 records. It, it will group 
in single record it will group two employees so likewise it will group so see the syntax of n tile n tile for over order by id so i am ordering this by id as groups so alias name as groups from emp 99 so let us run only this part so if i run only this part it will be the desired output so say the original id name and after combining or after concatenation concatenation you will see that one space emp1 is generated likewise second two emp2 is generated so this is how the concatenation of the string is done or the columns is done now see the entile what the entile has done entile has grouped all the records in the you can see these are the two two records has been grouped together so employee 1 and employee 2 has been grouped together in the one group then second group employee 3 and 4 has been grouped in the second group likewise 6 7 is grouped into the sorry 5 6 is grouped into the group number 3 so likewise the entire function works now let's move further now again we will be using the list tag method so what does this list tag will do now in this case what is our requirement let me show you the question so this is our requirement that vertically i want to combine the two rows so one emp1 comma two emp2 so to combining vertically combination of the to achieve the combination vertically we are using this list tag function so list tag into bracket combine now this combine column which we, which we have created using cte we will consider in this particular list tag method so this combine column I have considered and in single inverted commas I want I want comma sign so let me take you through the output so this is our desired output so how the output should be one emp1 and it should be separated by the comma and second employee so that's why I have specified here comma so it will combine the two vertically all the employees together so list will combine all the vertical employees together with comma separated so next within group order by combine so order by again the combine this combine column as all groups comma groups so this column I, again i want to print from cte so let's run this only this part let's see what would be the output okay uh, it will not show output. okay fine so again group by group by groups so i want to group all the data by the groups so let me show you the previous city data so this was our city data yeah so we are grouping all the data by group so what will happen here group one is having two employees so it will group together in the single group that is one it will fetch only one record and it will combine this emp1 and emp2 by using the function that is list tag similarly in second group emp3 and emp4 will be grouped together by using this list tag and it will be separated by the commas and order by again by groups so 1 2 3 4 will come so if i run this query together you will see the desired output like this so all groups so 1 emp1 comma 2 emp2 and group 1 so let's see what is the desired output required yes so this is our desired output mentioned in the question that 1 emp1 comma 2 emp1 and this is groups these are the groups 1 2 3 4 so i hope this part is pretty much clear so this is our desired output required for this particular query so these are the questions which might come in your data analyst interview so most of these questions are asked for product based companies so that's all for this so we'll meet in the next video if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and all the material regarding this video i will provide in the i will i will provide the link in the description box so you will get all this code and all this material or this questions tables in the same link so thank you all and have a wonderful day ahead